Hey mate, I'm Alex. And I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mate. This is the place to learn and share about Fabric and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So, what's up our mates? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be recording this video around a whole new feature out of Microsoft Fabric. So, hey Alex, what if I told you that Microsoft just made organizing, discovering and governing your data easier than ever before? Yeah, that's that's right. You know, at the Microsoft Ignite 2024, the One Lake catalog was unveiled. So it's a total game changer for anyone working with data. Let's dive in and explore how this incredible tool is transforming the way we manage our data with Microsoft Fabric. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, for those that uh, they are kind of new in the world of Microsoft Fabric, we've been talking about this in our channel regarding One Lake as a foundation, a single unified data lake for all your organizational data across your tenant. So now the One Lake catalog builds on top of this foundation, mm -hmm. acting this as a central hub for metadata, for discovery, for governance across all the entire Fabric tenant and ecosystem. So think of it as a control center for all your data uh, enough talking let's go to my machine let's switch back there and let's check it out you know uh, let's break down a little bit what is one lake catalog and what makes this so special so let's start digging in on top features out of one lake catalog first of all remember we are in the home screen on microsoft fabric with all the workloads in this case, I'm going to just click in one of the workloads, Power BI, one of them. And in the left of my screen, you have the icon of One Lake. If I click in the One Lake icon, now in the top of my screen, you can see One Lake catalog. First of all, you can start doing a bunch of things around this. But the first thing that I can notice is that you have all the items across all the workspace, all together. Of course, you can click in any of these links and see and check names, types of artifacts, owner, the last refresh, the location, even endorsements right, right here. I can click in the left of my screen only to see my items, the items that I uh, create or I'm the owner. I click in endorse items to see what are those items that they are certified or promoted and I can click in those items to check on that. If I have my favorites items, I can click in favorites as well to filter in that way. But also you can start doing, and this is kind of a unified search across different workloads with a simple search bar where I can type PowerMates, for example, and I can check for that name across my tenant, or I can search for a lake house and I am using LH. Nice for my lake house so I can just filter by lake houses or if I'm looking for anything else like you know the taxis metadata I can see all uh, taxis naming in different lake houses or semantic motors and of course adventure works could be another one that I can search and I can see all the items with the name adventure works on that it's a really nice way to uh, search across all the workloads so First of all, unified search across workload. Second thing, centralized metadata management because you can centralize all the metadata in one single place across all your tenants. Uh, of course, you can get the advantage of advanced governance and security because the catalog includes all the tagging, the classification, the sensitivity of labels to ensure the compliance with regulations like GDPR or HIPAA. So you can finally track and protect sensitive data with built-in Microsoft Purview integration. The other thing is, as we showcased before, data discoverability and collaboration because uh, you can search let's say for a lake house here and i have one of my lake house and i can click in one of them and you can see an overview of all the tables that i have in this lake house i can check on the lineage 
all the items related to my lakehouse. You can see all an overview of the lineage view directly. And this is my lakehouse, different notebooks that they are linked to that lakehouse, an experiment linked to those notebooks, and as well, a machine learning model linked to that experiment. So it's a really interesting way to see as, way as, as well to monitoring what's going on with that artifact. And in the top of my screen, you can see the lineage view and also you can share this item internally with others in your organization, nice. in this case, a lakehouse. But you can also click in the external data share and integrate and say, hey, I would love to have a third party, a vendor where I can click in any of my tables and do a uh, share with any other person outside my organization and just share this, in this case, table within my lake house. This is a kind of a quick tour on what's going on with one lake data catalog. You know, a couple of things that I would love to recall. First of all, we showcase how to search for a data set, a catalog, and provide all the metadata, even metadata schema usage history in just a few clicks. The other topic, tag all the semantic models with classification. Like, you know, you can classify a sensitivity of, of public or confidential. The other great thing is that you can, and remember that we record a video on this, but you can, in the top of my screen, if you have multiple domains and you are tagging by domains, you can click in any of the domains and say, hey, I would love to see only data that belongs to my finance domain. And then I filter all the artifacts by that domain as well. In this case, I have marketing as a domain, but I have subdomains like, you know, marketing operations or marketing social media, and I can click in any of them and you can see only the artifacts belong to that subdomain and all the artifacts by the subdomain. The other topic that I just discussed is the integration with Purview. That means that you can, of course, click in the settings, top right of my screen, go to the Microsoft Purview have, and get the option to see all the overview, the sensitive levels across your tenant, the endorsements, the domains, the items explorer as well. And the best part is that the catalog is not just for governance. It makes your life easier. Imagine searching for data and immediately seeing the schema, the reports and the connections between reports and other artifacts and usage stats all without touching any kind of code. <clears throat> yeah, and, and on top of that, Gaston, uh, maybe you remember this, uh, at this night, uh, this was one of the hottest topic, you know, uh, and, and uh, for good, uh, for a good reason, you know, attendees love how the catalogs simplify everything from governance uh, to discovery to collaboration, you know, whether you are a data engineer or a business analyst or a security officer, these tools speak your language. And, you know, some kind of real world scenarios that we discussed during Ignite was, uh, think about a business analyst trying to find the right semantic model for a Power yeah. BI report without chasing all the colleagues in your organization for the file locations. Or, you know, a data engineer that needs to create a new data pipeline and uh, uses metadata to optimize pipeline performance, saving hours or uh, guesswork. Or a compliance officer co trying to track all the sensitivity data uh, to ensure all the compliance across all your organization. So those are some kind of real world scenarios around this. Yeah, absolutely. And so PowerMate, what do you think about the one lake catalog? That it solve some of your biggest data headache. Uh, and if you're ready to try it out, log into Fabric today and explore the catalog yourself. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give us thumbs up, Share it with your network and drop your question or thought in the comment below. We are just getting started, PowerMate. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential of Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. See ya.